Hey everyone, back again for an update. Finished up the uh, insulation and uh, vapor wrap or barrier wrap, whatever. You, but this is where I left you guys off at the 12 volt wiring. And the very first picture you're going to see insulation uh, in the trailer or on the trailer walls, I should say. So basically it's just cutting them up, fitting them inside the squares, and you do want them to fit a little on the tight side, snug, so give yourself an eighth of an inch over uh, and uh, kind of squeeze it in and uh, helps keep everything in place. So all these different pictures. You'll see some nooks and crannies that uh, I stuff it in and also some holes. Now you'll notice up here this is the roof. The roof, the rafters were cut out of two by twos. So I put an extra layer and that's why in the center of the trailer on the roof you'll see an extra layer of insulation. Uh, obviously that's going to help, but it's also to keep the, uh, the dipping uh, down when I roll the metal over it. It won't go up on the rafters and then down onto the insulation. The insulation uh, fills that void and it'll keep everything up on a level level plane. Now you see some tape there and that's only to keep it uh, the insulation in. Uh, it's been kind of windy in the afternoons and I didn't want to lose any of the insulation by chance even though they are squeezed in place. Uh, but uh, wind can get underneath there and that stuff just flies right out. Any questions, please don't hesitate to send me a question or call me or uh, send a text, send an uh, instant messenger, private messenger, whatever it may be. Don't hesitate to send me any questions you may have. And now, now that the insulation is done, I'm going to start wrapping it up. And I'm using something different I used to use, and I pointed it out to a lot of people, and a lot of people used it. And that is the floor vapor barrier. And now what I'm going to try using is this house wrap uh, made by uh, DuPont. Thinner, uh, easier to work with, and uh, really a tough um, item to rip. You have to use a blade to cut it. So I like it a lot better. And it's not as thick as the uh, rubber vapor barrier that you would put on the... Uh, on the floor but this stuff here just wraps up and then you they recommend that like shipping tape packing tape that clear stuff that's what they recommend that you use to uh, to tape it up uh, so what you'll see here uh, throughout is a total of uh, two rolls of this uh, house wrap that I bought at Lowe's as you can see made by DuPont but actuality, it came out to be cheaper than the vapor barrier because I used two rolls or 200 feet uh, with some waste, as you can see. I, you know, you see some pieces there that I cut and stuff. But uh, it came out to about $65 for the two rolls, where in the vapor barrier, I probably would have used a lot more, probably three, four times as much. And each one of those is about 10 bucks a roll, maybe more. So I think it'd be a little cheaper. So um, three sheets per side. The back, I went up two sheets and I stretched it, basically. The roof, I ended up putting four sheets. It's just the way I did it. I overlapped quite a bit, but that's okay. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to have any issues with this stuff. And you'll see it going in. You'll see all the uh, nooks and crannies. I stuffed the uh, insulation in and then I covered it up with this wrap. Good stuff. I really like it. I did go around and uh, cut out the windows and not all the windows are cut out. I'll do uh, mo 
most of that tomorrow afternoon. I am uh, picking up the siding, the aluminum siding tomorrow morning, so I'm taking a drive out from where I live to Hemet, California, where uh, Hemet Valley RV Siding and Storage is located. And I'll be seeing my buddy Steve, which is the owner, and talking to him for a little while. Meanwhile, I'll uh, get loaded up with the, uh, the aluminum siding they, with a packet. They'll uh, help me put it on the trailer that I'm taking and uh, haul it out haul it out to home there there you can see the angle in the front I actually stuffed that angle in with uh, some uh, insulation so that's going to give me an extra barrier there two sheets of two pieces of insulation now this is the uh, street side now if you see a piece or a squared area and it has an X in it you can barely see it there's going to be a light going in there. That's the reason why. And there's some wires going to be pushed in there. I got to get those done, in and done. But uh, lights will be going in there. But all the, all the insulation. And now there's the second sheet in the front. Covering up the window. All Like I said, I will be cutting out the window openings. A lot of up and down on ladders today and yesterday. This is uh, over a three and a half day period of getting the insulation and getting this wrap. The wrap I was able to do in a day and a half, uh, but the insulation took me quite a quite a long time. And there's the roof. You can see the ceiling here, pretty much done now. Getting to the point where it's done. And I'm taping, I'm putting roll, I mean, just not gobs, I don't want to say gobs, but a good seam of tape to hold everything in place. There's the front all wrapped up. You'll see the upper left-hand corner still needs a piece that was taken care of. It's just uh, ran out of the roll and I, I was going to use a scrap piece to fill that in. I was going to point out earlier the uh, storage area where I'm going to end up putting a TV. I ended up uh, insulating the inside of that as well. As you can see there, it's right underneath that window. The back again, and again, there's a piece there, upper right-hand corner. Uh, you can see wood. Again, that will be covered. I have a scrap piece before the aluminum siding goes up. And you can see how the tape is pulled tight, uh, but that's okay. It all is going to be underneath. It's going to be all underneath the aluminum siding, so you're not going to see this. And here now, uh, I showed you some electrical, the 110 electrical. Now I'm testing it. So I took the uh, new cord that I've got and the plugged it in screws into place which is nice I really like this so this is a modern one of them very modern up-to-date uh, 30 amp cords and plugs that I put in then down on the floor I had to get the adapter for just uh, 15 amp I do not have 30 amp at the house but this is a 30 amp circuit so I had to step it down and now we're inside and as you can see there I have the two circuits, one 20 amp and one 15 amp. The 15 amp is dedicated to the air conditioner. The 20 amp, which is on now, is dedicated to the daisy-chained uh, electrical outlets that I have in uh, areas of the trailer and one outside. And as you can see, there's the tester. You want the two orange lights on. That means everything is good. And I went to each and every outlet, plugged it in, to test it and that's what I got two orange lights it's not that difficult uh, it's just keeping your color straight keeping the your everything